Good afternoon, Glenn Andrews, representing at Hills and Kings. Morehouse, Southeast San Diego, and a few other locations in this world. Um, got a lot on my mind, but I just want to hit two things, really. Mike Tyson just fought Jake Paul last night, and I didn't watch the fight. As a matter of fact, I haven't watched any of his fights since the the Buster Douglas fight. That was probably the last Mike Tyson fight I watched because I knew at that time that's when the beginning of, of where boxing was, where his career was, was was, was going to change and it was going to be some new individuals. Additionally, uh, I was a baseball player, football player. Uh, when I played football, I played tight end and linebacker and got hurt playing linebacker and still continued to play baseball, but I had a chance to be on the sideline and just watch football from a different perspective. And from watching football, being hurt, and looking at it from a different perspective, and this was in high school, and I was pretty good too. So I was a two-sport two, two sport player, didn't come off the field. As a matter of fact, played tight end, linebacker, uh, kickoff return, and on kickoff. So I didn't come off the field and loved it because to me it was almost like being, uh, being tactical, being in shape, being in good condition, similar to what Travis Hunter is doing right now, not on that level, but everybody, most everybody I knew growing up in Southeast San Diego and playing baseball and football, all of us, for the most part, most of us played many positions in great shape and just was in great condition. But I got hurt playing football, and I just remember watching football from the sideline, and it just seems it, it, it appeared different to me because up until that point, me playing football, it wasn't so much about 11 on 11 and scoring. Yes, I wanted to score. I wanted to keep them from scoring and I wanted to win. But there was a, 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 a ego and a piece of my psyche that wanted to put somebody in the ambulance. I wanted to hit someone so hard that the ambulance that would be parked around the school, that they would be put on that ambulance. They had to be carried out of there. And once I got hurt, I started watching football a little differently. Still love the game to this day, but over the years, I watched football a little differently and understanding its impact. Uh, I had three concussions before I got out of high school. I didn't know what it was then, but I know what it is. I, I Later on, I realized what it was when they started talking about it, when you get your bell rung and you see stars and so on and so forth. And once that happened, I started looking at contact sports a little differently. Love martial arts, love boxing. Then along those lines, back then it was the ultimate fighting championships and the Gracies and the judo and the private fights. You used to have to have a satellite to see what we now can see streaming and on the major channels. And it was weird. It was just literally from the time I got hurt, then going to school, and I've always been a book reader and know about the history of man, athletics, training, ego, mas uh, masculine energy, uh, violence, and just taking all, all that in, I started pulling back from the way I looked at uh, combat sports as well as football, but still love football. And I, I say all I'm I say all this to say in what took place with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul last night and it's on different levels. Got a chance to check out the Pivot podcast and I saw I saw something on on one of the social media pages but then ryan clark and channing crowder and fred taylor from the pivot said it he said what mike tyson said 
and it was something along the lines of of how his his kids will see who he was or what kind of man he was or now his kids will know who he was and and that struck me it struck me that here he is i'm pretty sure he's doing pretty good financially and that he would take on this fight with a man a young man just about half his age that he had to do this to show his kids who he was and that struck me because i have two kids my my daughter will be 25 and my son 26 will be 27 in the first of the year and it has never been anything i had to do for my kids to know what kind of husband i am what kind of father i am what kind of man i am what kind of human being i am other than knowing that i will take care of them and protect them and have their best interests at all times so that struck me that he had to do this to show his kids who he was additionally the fact that he had to do it by doing something that made him famous definitely going to make him money but it could have went in either direction and for me after coming through this election now being 61 years old and being a avid book reader and really know the history of the world know a lot about anthropology know a lot about humanities know a lot about world history and just a study of civilizations and uh one of my two of my favorite movies is well i got several favorite movies but two of my favorite movies of one of the few is uh gladiator and 300 but also like the Predator series and uh, something about Gladiator and 300 of being of times in the past. And now we're supposed to be a civilized society and this is where we are. And that whole connection to all of that, I find it is, 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 is weird to me. It's weird to me. But it's also sad to me. Uh, I understand that there's things that go on outside of outside of the ring in this world. Uh, crimes that are committed between human beings in the United States around the world, where there is violence, and I'm not naive to that. Where I grew up, it was bittersweet. It was great on one in one aspect but on the on the other there was that hint of violence uh i understand the history of america is built on violence but it struck me that this is what mike tyson felt he had to do to show his kids who he was and what does that say about humanity right now uh what does it say and i don't see it as a hypocrite because man when i played football i was trying to punish cats And it took me getting hurt to to just see football for what it is. Because I understand physics. I understand E equal MC square. I understand someone, two individuals running at each other at 19 plus miles an hour with a, 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 a at that time, composite plastic helmet, right L helmet, water helmet, and your head being involved, or even your, your body parts. We're watching some of the football players, some of the ones we've loved the most and watched play the game of football now having to deal with those injuries and all those men to uh, to all those men say they would do it all over again for money but that's a that's a that's another topic of, of why particularly african-american men choose 
sports entertainment versus other areas of, of academia to build wealth. And I understand it because I was one of them. I was one of them. My, my lane in line was to go into professional sports. That's all I had in my, in my, in my dream, in my visual. Luckily getting hurt, going to junior college, going to Morehouse, get my MBA, get my Six Sigma, uh, getting married, raising my kids, uh, getting some fitness certifications, becoming an author and writing books and just being an avid reader. I see human beings and I see the world for what it is. I see the possibilities and I see what it's not. And, and it's odd and it's a juxtaposition to look at what took place on November 6th and then to see what took place last night, but arguably, arguably, arguably one of the greatest boxers, pugilists, a little younger than me, probably Mike Tyson, probably in his 50s, I would say, 50-something. I'm 61, and uh, he had to prove something to his kids. So to me, it's kind of bittersweet. Uh, say, I'm going to say prayer. I'm going to say a prayer for him. Uh, I hope his kids are proud of him because I don't think this is something he did for the money, though he's going to get paid well. I think he is searching like most are, and it's good to be on that search. It's good to be on that search for something beyond yourself that is something beyond you that connects you to this earth, connect, this, connect you to this universe, connect you to your manhood or womanhood or, or, and whatever that could be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it just struck me. It just struck me because my daughter went to go watch with several of her friends and she kind of told me who won and lost last night. And... I think between November 6th and last night, and I'm not, and I'm with the November 6th thing, it's sad that we had to choose between the least of two unqualified individuals. But here we are. So prayers for Mike Tyson. I just hope his kids see him as a father, a man, and uh, give him some grace, because I'm going to give that brother some grace. Yeah. This is Glenn Andrews, Heroes and Kings. Mike Tyson didn't lose last night. Jake Paul didn't lose. I saw some little excerpts of it. Uh... I hope that brother finds some peace. Glenn Andrews, Fields and Kings.